my name is Ashmita Tripathi and I am from Odisha. I have secured all in a rank 4 in ICR JRF 2018 examination in the subject of agronomy. I have graduated from OUAT and currently pursuing my masters in IRI. So here I am to share my strategy of getting through this examination. And my simple strategy was that uh, I ensured strengthening my fundamentals of different subunits in a proper way so that whatever uh, question the question paper might come like it may be easy or difficult I should be able to answer that question so I took the entire syllabus in my hand and divided the entire portion into different subunits like weed management, irrigation water management, soil fertility, field crops, agrometeorology, dry land agriculture, statistics in this way then I make a list of books which I thoroughly followed the two basic books that is the principles of agronomy by Reddy and Reddy and principles of agronomy by S.R. Reddy these two books are quite beneficial from exam point of view and uh, should be followed by every student who is preparing for this agronomy JRF exam then coming to section wise most important is the weed management and the base book is uh, weed science book by Dr. T.K. Das this book is a bit voluminous but uh, if you don't find ample time to read the entire book there is the appendix at the end of this book which gives the name of uh, trade name, chemical name of herbicides then common name, scientific name uh, along with the families of different breeds so usually ma in matching type questions in the exam you will find this type of uh, common name, scientific name things so if you uh, give a glance at these things so it would be quite easy for you in the examination then second coming to irrigation water management I think the base book uh, you can refer by Majumdar and there is also another book irrigation agronomy by SR Reddy that is also quite useful and one thing I would like to say in this irrigation part there are a lot of numericals which usually come in the exam even in our time there are almost 10 questions numericals in this part only so you need to focus on that um, you can practice from the book that is efficient use of irrigation water by Reddy and Reddy or you can also refer another book numerical agronomy by Bhatnagar these two books are quite useful for this numerical thing then coming to field crops you can refer to the books of uh, Rajendra Prashad volume 1 and volume 2 generally we give more emphasis to this field crops but uh, I would say that the commercial crops like sugarcane, potato, tobacco uh, then oil seed crops, cotton, jute they should be also given equal importance because seeing the recent trends of question paper I feel more so ever questions come from this part so this part should not be neglected at all then for agrometeorology, dry land agriculture, organic farming, sustainable agriculture, I feel a ready and ready SRAT will be quite sufficient. Then coming to statistics part. Statistics, you can follow the book uh, Agricultural Statistics by Rangaswamy and give more emphasis to the designing of experiments because usually we find questions on to find the degrees of freedom in uh, CRD, RBD, LSD, split plot designs and all that. So your answer should be very accurate because while solving they give the options very close the numerical problem is very and the answers are very close to each other so you should be very much precise in giving that answer. So this is on the books then apart from that for general agriculture thing now you can refer to the general agriculture books like uh, Nimrat Sundha, R.K. Sarma, Arun Katan volume 1 and volume 2 and then start doing objectives from SR Kantwa and uh, if you are an agronomy student then what I should would say is that uh, in these objective books give equal emphasis to agronomy, physiology, statistics and soil science because these parts are very much interlinked with agronomy so uh, while you are doing this agronomy objective give equal emphasis to these subjects also then the society books uh, the books which are published by our Indian Society of Agronomy like uh, soil fertility and nutrient management, modern concepts of agronomy, agronomic terminologies should be definitely read by you all because uh, I think most of the questions come from this book and uh, again if you don't find ample time to cover all these books in a proper way you can go through the objectives which are given at the end of each chapter in these books the objectives include MCQs, fill in the blanks, true and false so if you go through these questions, you will get a lot of confidence before going to the examination. So try doing that. Then uh, now after reading all this thing, start doing your objectives. 
prior to two to three months before the exam date and different objectives book which you can follow are uh, one is by Maliwal and Mundra then Agri Wizard then um, there is the Agri Scan from which you can refer the agronomy part basically then the previous year question paper should be definitely done by you and this is given in a very quite uh, compiled precise way in the book agronomy treatise so every day you make a habit of solving at least one question paper each day so that you will stimulate yourself to the exam atmosphere in your home or the place where you are studying so that you don't get nervous on the day of the exam that is a point then do these objectives after that what you can do is uh, the for the current facts and figures you can refer to book that is Rup Singh Mehti because you need to know what is the minimum support price of different commodities what is the recent food grain production of cereals, pulses, oil seeds in our country what are the recent government policies uh, for the upliftment of farmers so you should have a thorough idea on this for this you can browse net and uh, for varieties which have been recently released by IRI you can go to the IRI website and also browse that because in the question paper, the in matching, usually this type of questions come as what are the new varieties and to which crop do they belong to. So you can have a great idea by seeing this IRA website. And there are certain parts of the syllabus to which we give least importance like uh, tea husbandry, medicinal and aromatic plants, forage crops. So we don't usually give importance to these parts. But I would say don't leave anything untouched from this syllabus part because you will feel demotivated before going to the exam if you are not covering any such part because you never know from which part maximum questions would be there like in our case there are almost uh, seven to eight questions including one matching from tea husbandry only so the student who had a mastery on this tea husbandry got good ranks so that is the thing you should be prepared for all portions equally after all, agronomy is a memorizing thing. The more you practice and revise, the more you remember. So keep doing revision all the time. Uh, you will have a great boost of confidence in that way. Then I would like to thank Bipin sir for his videos and allowing me to share my video through this way and help to inspire you all. And for all those aspirants who are preparing for this JRF examination in 2019, I would like to wish you all the best, keep doing hard work, have confidence in you, success will be all yours. Thank you.